Trump is trailing Carson. Last night, Trump returned to the Hawkeye State for the first time since his polling dip, and he delivered some tough love to Iowa. From the time I announced, I've been at the top of the polls, almost at the top. You know, we're doing well. Iowa, will you get your numbers up, please? Hey. When you get these numbers up, I am a great Christian, and I am. I am. Remember that. And I do well with the evangelicals. But the evangelicals left me down a little bit this last month. I don't know what I did. So, by the way, before I forget, will you get the numbers up, Iowa, please? This is ridiculous. I mean, what is my competition? In all fairness, in all fair, what, what is my competition? Do you think these guys, I'm not going to say Carson. I'm not going to say Rubio, who really is way down. I mean, I am second. It's not like terrible. But I don't like being sex. Second is terrible to me. In most polls, I'm number one. Uh, now, until Iowa came along, I said every poll. And then Iowa came. What the hell are you people doing to me? You know? You know? I'm telling you. They said, why don't you skip Iowa? They told me that. Everybody said, skip Iowa. No. <laughs> All of the political geniuses. A man just interviewed me back there, and he said, would you ever think of maybe uh, skipping Iowa going right to, you know, right to New Hampshire? I said, I can't do that, because I have such an unbelievable relationship with the people from Iowa that I think we're going to win. I really do. I believe it. I believe it. You know, I hate to say it, but the last long number of elections on the Republican circuit the person that won Iowa did not get the nomination, okay? I want to take away some of your mustard. Do you understand that? So could we do, and please do me a favor, let me win Iowa, and then I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm telling you. It's about time that Iowa could have a victory and let that person go into a total victory, okay? Not like over the last, right? When I heard the poll today, they said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to work harder in Iowa. I'm not leaving Iowa. I'm not leaving Iowa. Now, if I lose Iowa, I will never speak to you people again. That I can tell. <laughs> that is my favorite line of the night. I'm never going to speak oh to you people again. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Mike, um, we talk about optimism, and it's not just the message. It's, it's, are you having a good time? Do you love what you're doing? That guy absolutely loves what he's doing, and I want to contrast in all seriousness with what we saw with John Kasich, a guy who we saw up in New Hampshire who was very optimistic. But Kasich, very dour. Uh, almost scolding, what has happened to the conservative movement? Uh, Jeb Bush saying, I've got better things to do. Again, sort Trump of if angry and dour. If you want to vote for Trump, go ahead. Do. Marco Rubio saying, I hate the Senate. I mean, wow. I, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm making a very serious point here. There's a reason why Donald Trump, who is short on policy prescriptions, but is long on you know, not only toughness, people thinking that he's tough, but also just having a hell of a good time out there. There's a reason why voters are attracted to that. Well, your point reverts to something that Donald said in that what we just watched. He said, what is my competition to the people gathered in Iowa? The real question is, where is his competition in terms of how they're campaigning against him, how they're campaigning for the nomination of their party? They seem to be either quiet, afraid, distant from the electorate. Uh, Quiet, afraid, beaten down, angry, confused, like John Sununu saying, I don't, yeah. I don't know what's happened to my I, party. I, I, I mean, I would be willing to, to bet that they would pick up in their own personal pipe. Let, let's take Bush, Christie, and Kasich, those three guys. Show up tonight in a windbreaker on the stage, yeah. you know, having been out meeting voters and everything like that, and go after someone. You have to win something in order to win the nomination. Yeah. These guys are campaigning as if they don't really want to win anything. Yeah, 